Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're over in Goalie Utopia, surrounded by the latest and the greatest in goaltending gear, not goaltending advisors. And we've got another new piece of equipment for 2024. I'm loving this. Like people have dry January, we got fresh gear January here at the I'm going to have to have dry January from Kevin here pretty quick. Goodness. I am a little. The humor is a little dry, so that's, that, that makes <laughs> that sense. Oh, right. SLR4 cam. Yeah, it's a chest this time. It, it is. We got new stuff. We do. What's changed? I do a few things. So, SLR4 will start up at the top of the shoulders, brand new for this year. Um, also, there's going to be a pant, glove, and blocker, so you have to stay tuned. Not this Ooh, review right now. But more stuff. But coming. we have more stuff. He's like Santa in January. I'm, I'm, good with the, I'm good with the crowd Christmas for a little while. It's okay. So, chest. NHL style shoulder floaters slim down. So this entire unit, in theory, the NHL legal. I'm sure there's a few mods that need to be done. Again, like the back straps, they can't be adjustable and things like that. That's some of the differences you will find on an NHL style chest protector. However, for here, again, shoulder floaters, classic Vaughn pad in behind helps to puff up that overall presence. If you were looking for the chest to be a little bit more slimmed down and tied up against the body, again, take those out, tighten down those Velcro straps. Well, question, question. Answer, daily double. Shh, shh. Why would I want to look smaller, Cameron, by taking that out? So I wouldn't necessarily call it looking smaller, per se, as you wanted to increase your, say, head mobility. You're worried about backing out of the driveway while you're playing. If you're facing the wrong way while you're in net. Well, it does make a difference. With slim, I like the slimmer profile in terms of, you know, moving around and not... Uh, okay, I'll exactly. take it. So, this is why I ask these questions, folks. Suspender so buttons make their return back. That hurt. Good. So... Suspenders, if you want to run them up and over top of the chest. Now, here's one where, again, it's going to pull that overall shoulder floater down if you do run it through here, but it is an option. Me personally, I'd rather ride them like in between through here so they aren't pulling that shoulder floater down. But again, you have that option to pop them over top of that shoulder floater and help to lock them in with those snap buttons. I like it. All right. So, arm out. Perfect. So, adjustable arm. These simple snap options here will be able to pull that arm up and be able to adjust that arm length on the fly. This is a feature that I do like about the pro chest protectors because it's a little bit hard to get that adjustability, especially, you know, when fitting on the floor and whatnot. So growing, you know, we're worried about that extra arm length, things like that. I'm not growing anymore, Cam. So good. I would probably actually button it up a little bit higher because this arm is coming down low on you. Hmm. Squared off. Arm floater. Moving to the arms as well. So the way that they've stitched this is quite a bit different than the SLR3, as you can see visually side by side for sure. So the way it flexes in, it's quite stiff in between here. So we do find that it's gonna take a little bit of break in to kind of get there. But in theory, that's less gaps that are showing up in that overall chest. And again, a more squared off profile for it as well. Segment? Segmented. But I think we'll need you to stand up. So Kevin's now standing. We can see that segmentation at the belly. So this allows for a couple different options in terms of how you're wearing your chest protector. So front tuck, half tuck, full tuck, quite a few different options here. I think one of the preferred ones though is, is that a front flap you do tuck into the pants and then you need these outer flaps around the side. No more that, size. That will still aid a little bit in the overall size pr profile in terms of your initial look. But again, keep in mind, you gotta go seal up that, that chest protector is gonna wanna kind of push out of the way a little bit. So turn around, that all the way around. Goodness. All right. Now you see their strapping system that they have in terms of her attachments. The way that body hugs with the two overall elastic straps that wrap around your body gives a nice tight fit to the chest protector, easily adjustable so you can kind of minutely dial that in. You also see the shoulder floater adjustment, the opportunity to move that out to the side a little bit more, change that overall profile in terms of where it sits on your collarbone. Nice, easy adjustments, good features from Vaughn. So we'll wait for Kevin to spin around like a top here. So if you want to learn more about the chest, you can give me a call 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. You can check us out at thehockeyshop.com. We'll find the chest online there. These can be custom ordered. Limited stock amount that's available now. More will be coming in soon. Kevin.
Are the arms beefed up or is this sort of standard? Are we this at is the, stock, is, Has Vaughn gotten to the point where we don't need to beef them up to not be black Stock pro-carbon unit. Stock pro-carbon unit. I mean, these ones, again, Vaughn has made strides in terms of for that overall protection uh, initially in the arms. Since the V9, we've noticed things have gotten quite a bit better. So you don't need to add the pro beef like you, you be up used to, you. to have. To. That'd be up to you. And, you know, if you have that question, like I said, you can give me a call. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. There's more stuff coming, right? Yes. Stay tuned for more Vaughn SLR4. Bye, Cam. Do, 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 do.